Huawei has just released their brand new P40 series, the regular P40, the P40 Pro and the P40 Pro Plus, which will be available later in summer. In this video we are going to compare the P40 Pro against its predecessor, the P30 Pro. Both are made of glass in front and back with shiny aluminum sides, and both have curved displays. The display on the P40 Pro however is curved even on top and bottom. They are almost the same size, but the P40 Pro is heavier and thicker. Both have also amazing colors, and my new favorite one is this frosted grey of the P40 Pro. The P40 Pro has a larger 6.6 inch OLED display compared to a 6.5 inch OLED display on the P30 Pro. The P40 Pro is also sharper compared to the P30 Pro, but the biggest difference is the 90Hz refresh rate found on the P40 Pro. Compared to the teardrop notch found on the P30 Pro, the P40 Pro has a pill-shaped punch hole that houses the selfie camera and the face scanner. It is quite bigger compared to the teardrop notch found on the P30 Pro. The Huawei P40 Pro is powered by Kirin 995G chipset paired with 8GB of RAM. The P30 Pro is powered by Kirin 980 and it doesn't support 5G. It has also 8GB of RAM. The only storage option on the P40 Pro is 256GB compared to 128, 256 and 512GB storage option on the P30 Pro. They do both support expandable storage with a nano SD card. The P40 Pro comes with Android 10 out of the box and sadly you won't find any Google Apps here. They are very similar when it comes to the cameras. Both have quad cameras made of a wide, ultra wide, a 5x optical zoom and a depth sensor. The main camera on the P40 Pro is a 50 megapixel sensor with OIS, compared to a 40 megapixel sensor with OIS on the P30 Pro. The ultra wide camera is now 40 megapixels compared to 20 megapixels of last year's P30 Pro. The periscope camera is also sharper now at 12 megapixel compared to 8 megapixel. The depth sensor is again almost useless. On the front the P40 Pro has a 32 megapixel snapper with autofocus and a depth sensor. The P30 Pro has also a 32 megapixel front camera, but sadly it has no autofocus. When it comes to video, the P40 Pro can shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second in the front and back. The P30 Pro can only shoot 4K videos at 30 frames per second on the rear and 1080p at 30 frames per second on the front. When it comes to audio, they both do disappoint me. Just like the P30 Pro, the P40 Pro also comes with a mono speaker and for a thousand bucks smartphone this is disappointing. They both do also miss the headphone jack. They do also have no earpiece, so the sound comes from the display. With a 4200mAh battery, the P30 Pro was one of the best phones when it comes to battery life. The P40 Pro has the same battery capacity, but considering its 90Hz refresh rate, I predict it won't last as long as the P30 Pro. You can charge them at 40 watts, which is incredibly fast. The P40 Pro can also be charged wirelessly at 40 watts, compared to the 15 watts of the P30 Pro. They do also feature reverse wireless charging. The P40 Pro has an in-display fingerprint scanner, which is said to feature a 30% larger sensor. It does also have advanced face scanning. The P30 Pro has also an in-display fingerprint scanner, but only uses the front camera for face scanning. They are both IP68 water and dust resistant, and like mentioned earlier, they do support wireless and reverse wireless charging. The P40 Pro just as expected is an incredible device. It has a great design, great display, amazing cameras and battery life, but it has no Google Apps and for a starting price of 1000 bucks, it is hard to recommend for anyone. The P30 Pro has also a great design, good display, amazing cameras and battery life. It does also have Google Apps and you can find it for 700 bucks. Of course the P40 Pro has updated specs and you can download somehow most of the Google Apps, but when you pay 1000 bucks, you expect your phone to have everything. If you did enjoy this video, thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you for watching.